And accused of shooting the owner of an Arlington car dealership earlier this week is now going to be charged with capital murder. Police say they were told just yesterday that that owner actually has passed away. Andrea Lucia explains how this all happened. In East Arlington, the Salem Autos dealership is closed while staff mourn the death of its owner, Adel El Hildawe. Man, it's sad. It's tragic, man, you know. This customer was shocked to hear the news. I was a good dude, you know. I mean, I had about four cars from him, so he did good business. The shop last month sold a BMW to Brian Espy, who returned soon after, complaining the check engine light was on. The dealership loaned him a Jeep while they worked on it, but when he got the BMW back, police say he kept the Jeep too. El Hindawe and an employee used a tracking device to find it at a nearby apartment complex. And while they were getting it, uh, the guy comes out and starts shooting at him. El Hindawe was shot in the head and crashed into a parked car. Police say Espy then jumped into a car driven by his girlfriend, Kiana Masti, and caught up to the employee in the Jeep, ordering him out at gunpoint. Uh, he even mentioned that the suspect told him that he knew he worked for Salem Autos, the business where the car was from. Two days later, at a nearby apartment complex, police found the Jeep and arrested Espy. With El Hindawe's death, his charge will now be elevated to capital murder. And, and what's so tragic about this, I feel like Mr. El Hindawe and the employer just, they're doing what's going to put food on their table for their families. You know, they're just working. And for whatever reason, the suspect, you know, comes out with a gun and starts shooting at him. In Arlington, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.